Okay, as I was saying, I'll show you how I ran 3 16 line. This is the end of one. I just put this in this year. So I know normally these are my drops right here. I have them on because this is a brand new line and I'm gonna show you how to put a tap in it here in a second. But this is the end. They clip onto here and it goes around the tree that way and it comes back around and it goes to the next tree. This, I screwed mine to the tree because I'm not moving mine and I just like doing that to secure it. I know people just stretch them from tree to tree, but that's how I did it instead. And you can see my woods are, maybe you can't, let me see if I can get a, I've got lines ran to all my trees. I have about a hundred uh, taps right here behind my sugar house. So if I can figure out how to do this, bear with me. Yeah, maybe not. Um, all right, so you were asked saying you just put your lines in. There are a couple, one tool you, you really need to buy, and that is one of these. This is a single. I found I can do everything I need with just a single, and it works fine. The idea is you clamp that onto into your drop line. Normally, you make these drops ahead of time. I did them, put them on, and then um, I'm gonna put my taps in later. This is kind of hard to do on my own. Let me uh, see here. So once you have that in, this goes, your tap goes in here and once you have this together, then it's just a matter of pushing your tap, squeezing the pliers, part of this, and your tap goes into your drop line. And there you have a tap installed into a 3 16 drop line. These are leader taps. I'm lucky I have uh, a guy close to me that sells for leader. Um, you can order online, obviously. And then well, all you'd have to do is drill your tap hole, of course. About an inch and a half is what I do. Tap this in, and this is the very first tap on. For now, I'm just going to set it back on there on this line. So you'd continue down this and put in your, the, the problem with what I do is um, to put new drops on, you've got to back that screw out or it's kind of a nuisance to get a new drop on every year. I uh, left the drops on some of mine last year and just gonna put new taps in. I rinsed them all out, ibuprofen alcohol. I've read everything from the Cornell's posted and it, it varies on cleanliness and how you want to clean them. New drops, old drops. New taps, old taps, a lot of stuff out there. So this particular run I have here, it goes down. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six taps on this. And it's gonna go, it goes down to my main line. And I just installed this this year too. So how this works is you got your wire on your main line here. I ran the main the wire out through the woods. This one's 300 feet long. And once the wire was ran, I put a little tension on it with wire tensioners, which I'm right here by the sugar house, so I'll show you one of them. It's the wire tensioner. Okay, so you just turn this thing, it tightens the wire up. I got it pretty tight. And then we ran the three quarter inch main line underneath the wire. We unrolled it, pulled it out through the woods. And then you hook your main line with these twist wires and a little tool that twists them on every 12 to 18 inches. So once you have this secure, I went through and I put posts under mine um, to keep it rigid all the way out through. So I have a consistent drop out through there. 
and all my laterals run off of that into my taps. So what happens is you bring this down, this little guy here clips on to the wire. You use that tool and you put these on, clip it in. You run this around and you put on these saddle clamps. And what those are, brought one out with me if I can get to it, is you drill a hole into this main line with a 31 64th drill bit. And what you do is, there's a rubber gasket in here. You force that down in to that hole. And it's right on the top. And this sits on here, underneath the wire. So it's underneath there, like this. And then you take this little part, the saddle clamp itself, this part here goes underneath the wire, as you can see, and then it pushes down into that rubber gasket. And then you take the little wire ties that you can buy um, and that little tool that spins, and you spin that on there and you hold it. That is how your laterals come into your main line. Then your main line goes back to my sugar house. I haven't hooked that up inside yet. I'm gonna. Tomorrow it's supposed to be about 50 here in northeastern Pennsylvania, and it's in the middle of January. It'll be a good week for sap, but I am not tapping trees until next month. I just don't believe the weather, and it's way too early for me. So that's how I've got my sugar bush hooked up. I hope it helps.